Well, a good Saturday to you. Thanks for finding us here on Fox 26. I'm meteorologist John Dawson. This is your in-depth tropical discussion or forecast or just talk about what's going on out there because there's some stuff to definitely want to be sort of aware of if you are in the Atlantic Basin this time of the year. We're in August. Things are becoming quite a bit more active and the two specific areas that the National Hurricane Center are keeping a close eye on and they've labeled this as areas of invest. So again, this is just spots that are highlighted of interest. They can put a number on them, they can label them, and they can kind of help keep up with them, start running some of those computer models of, as well. So this is Invest 96L, and then over just off of the coast of Africa is Invest 97L. So 96 and 97 are the numbers that we're working with as far as the areas of Invest. And 96 is not looking promising not going to complain about that. We're looking at this yellow shaded area as where over the next seven days it could form into a tropical system. Only a 20% chance from the National uh, Hurricanes Center at, at this point as far as Invest 96L developing. But down to the south, you see that larger orange shading. And remember, the tropical wave is still over here, and it's got to travel over several more days before it gets into a little bit of an area that's better for its development, higher possibilities. So once it reaches this shaded area, we're still talking about a 50% chance that that might be developed. I've got a little bit of confidence that this is going to develop into a tropical system. And a lot of that having to do with the GFS Futurecast. Uh, again, this is one of the global models that's used highly rated as far as if you're wanting to watch the tropics. As we mentioned, this is 96L and you can see that it kind of just sort of goes and falls apart a little bit and then we get a better idea of what's happening with 97. This is Tuesday in the evening. Here's 97 and it continues to develop getting a lot of spin there. Stronger looking storm. This does look like it would develop into a, a tropical system of some kind. Now once I pause it here at Friday there's a lot of questions as far as where this system would go and there's basically two thoughts or ideas here. There's a couple high pressure systems that's sitting to the north of where Invest 97L is expected to be. And it has one of two paths, most likely. It could kind of sneak to the north in between those two high pressure systems, or those two high pressure systems could work kind of in conjunction with each other and keep Invest 97L further to the south and, and more of a due westerly direction. Now, if it keeps that track, then we certainly have the Caribbean and the Gulf as a possibility of its destination. But if it gets kind of pulled north in between those two high pressure systems, then it looks like it would probably stay out into the Atlantic, or at least it would be something that the folks on the East Coast would be more concerned with. Lots to talk about there. Again, that's all the way till Friday before we'll really be making any sort of decisions of, as, with confidence exactly where that might be going. Uh, two weeks ago and this past week, uh, our two major tropical outlooks were updated. Again, last week, NOAA updated their tropical outlook and they decreased, they just shaved off a number here or there. So I believe it used to be 13 to 19 and now it's 13 to 18. And the same thing with these major hurricanes, I think it was six to 10 and now it's five to nine. So they just made some minor adjustments Still, these numbers are above what a normal average season, if you look at the last 30 years, would be considered. But uh, Colorado State University is sort of doing the same thing where they're holding their numbers steady with what their July and their August updates are the same. So just kind of keeping you updated there on what's happening as far as the forecasts go. And as expected, when we see these waves and these uh, you know, disturbances that are being tracked tropically. That's what's happening when we've got this August peak here where we begin to see the activity peak all the way up until about September the 10th. If you're keeping track at home, I know you're wondering what's that next name on the list. So we're listening for Aaron. Aaron will be the next name, whether that's nine, you know, Invest 96L gets 
transformed into Aaron, or if that's 97L that gets transported into Aaron, that'll be the next name we're looking at for the Atlantic Basin. So certainly this dust is going to be something that has to be fought as this surge of, of uh, particulate is going to be moving in. Notice these lighter areas right here. That is where a tropical system would have a better chance of kind of jumping in and forming and becoming stronger. And that's one of the reasons why Invest 96L is having some troubles. Now, here's a very, very generalized map. I don't want anyone to get too excited or too specific on these numbers, but how long does it take for a tropical wave or some sort of system to progress and move across and have impacts on the coast of the US? Well, here's kind of an idea. If you start seeing something forming out here this close to the African coast, we're looking at a good 10 day warning. And I, I showed you that with our map a minute ago of our GFS model. And again, we're talking about six to 10 days, which is kind of where we've got things happening right now. Just to the western portions of the Atlantic, it takes about four to six days to get on. So we've got lots of time right now. And that is one of the th things that's somewhat nice about where we see formations in August, watching those tropical waves come off of the African coast. We've got a a lot of time to look at them. Got a lot of time to get some morning. In the earlier parts of the season or even the later parts of the season, sometimes those ones that pop up right off of the coast of the East Coast or right into the Gulf, not a lot of time to really match that and see that uh, monitor a little bit. All right, as I mentioned, of course, today is Saturday. We're here every day of hurricane season. I'll be back tomorrow with another tropical update, bringing you the latest on 96 and 97L. I'll expect to see you then.